How's it going, guys? This is Rio Murata, photographer based in Tokyo. So, major topic that I wanted to discuss with you guys is that you guys probably know the most used film scanners that I use for thir scanning 35 mil film negatives, color negatives, is obviously the Plus Tech Optic Film 8200 AI. And I noticed that that video has the most views of all my videos that I've made in the past. And it is basically the best scanner in my opinion doing when doing it at home in terms of ease of use it's efficient and not to mention the scanner itself is super small compact and not lightweight but it's far comparably smaller than a typical flatbed scanner and unfortunately i have to mention this on my in this video we have a visitor unfortunately and we know that products get renewed they get better and better and as a consumers we have to deal with it and in my case i did not purchase it but i thought it would be worthy to sort of like mention it on my channel but plus tech actually released the 8300 ai film scanner for 35 mil and i am really shocked to see it <laughs> unfortunately the design hasn't changed but what changed internally actually is that the scanning speed actually increased by 39 percent i can't vouch on that but they said that on their website that it is much more faster to scan film negatives on the newer 8300 AI versus the 8200 AI that I currently own. Hopefully you guys know that Plus Tech Optic Film series of film scanners is, the company itself is located in Taiwan, meaning that because Japan's in the Asia region, new products that come from Plus Tech actually gets released in Japan faster than North America counterparts. And just a recap for you guys, the 8100 is their entry level film scanner for 35 mil and the 8200 AI which I currently use is a one rank above the 8100 and above that they released 8300 AI and the major difference between the 8100 and the 8200 AI is a major difference is that it has the 8200 that I currently own has a dust removal sort of like software incorporated into the Silverfast software meaning that when you scan your like film negatives, there's gonna be dust. And the scanner, the 8200 series AI can automatically pick up the sort of like small dust particles and can remove it for you, which can reduce the amount of time you have to take when you're like sort of like post-processing it in Photoshop or any kind of photo editing app to sort of like remove those dust. Obviously it doesn't work 100% of the time, but in my case, it can get more than half of the dust particles away from the image, which can significantly reduce the amount of time. But the 8100 does not have that functionality. So you have to sort of like manually sort of like take out that dust particles, which take like eternity. So that's basically the major difference between the 8100 and the 8200 uh, AI. And also the 8200 AI also there's an SE version the major difference between the SE version and the AI version is the AI version comes with a sort of like a calibration tool or slide when you're trying to scan sort of like reversal film in Japan we call it reversal in North America you guys call it slide films so positive films and I guess this has to do with the colors regarding slide films because it has a distinctive color and you basically need to sort of cal need to calibrate that to make it produce sort of like the optimum results of your slides. So that's the major difference in between the AI version and the SE version. Unfortunately enough, the 8300, the newly announced 8300, the AI version is I guess being sold in North America, but the SE version does not exist in North America yet, but in Japan it actually is being retailed here so I don't know what's going on but okay so in the beginning of the video I basically said that the 8300 series of film scanners is 39% faster than the 8200 counterparts and you guys probably know me I shoot with medium format that is my main sort of like format when I shoot with a film camera but the remaining 10-20% I basically shoot with 35 in most cases when I shoot 35 mil 
I only shoot maybe only one roll or maybe two rolls and that's it actually. So in my case, I don't scan that much of 35 mil format. However, there are people who are the opposite of that. There are people out there who shoot like 90% like 35 mil and they shoot like rolls and rolls of 35 mil. And if you're that type of person, this 39% increase in scanning time will make a significant increase in your productivity and efficiency due to the fact that 40% is like, if it takes like what, 10 minutes to scan all your film negatives, I mean, you can cut down that on that, but to like what, three minutes or four minutes maybe at most. And this basically adds up because the scanning process is sort of like tedious and if you have like 36 exposures on a 35 mil film we all know that we have to like remove the film from the plate and slide in a new like film negative strip we slide it into the you know film scanner and have it scanned but because it takes less time on the newer one we can basically shave off on that and we can reuse that time that we saved and using it on a different sort of like productivity like work whether or not if it's for like printing and stuff like that so for some people it is worth it but for me unfortunately i don't shoot that much on the 35 mil format so i'm not gonna upgrade unfortunately but i will continue you to use the 8200 ai as my main sort of like film scanner okay, so what's interesting is the price the 8100 i'm taking prices from the japan's website because i live in japan so the 8100 costs roughly converting to us dollars 268 dollars the 8200 ai is being still being sold for 445 dollars the 8300 sc costs 445 dollars exactly the same 8300 ai cost a whooping 558 dollars which equate to 79,800 yen which is more than my rent actually in japan so now getting that out of the way we had to talk about which one's worth it and this is going to be my super biased opinion but i would say if the 8300 se starts to sell in north america i would say if this is your first scanner the 8300 se is no doubt probably going to be the best scanner for 35 mil film period due to the fact that it is the exact same price as the 8200 ai and yes we know that the 8200 ai will probably get reduced in price in a sale or something because the warehouse probably has a lot of stock in there bnh or adorama will probably slash the price but i would say the 8300 se would be the most worthy sort of a contender in terms of purchasing a new foam scanner if or if this is sort of like your new if you're new to scanning 35 mil film period because that 38 percent sort of like increase in scanning speed will add up in the long run and if you shoot a lot of 35 mil film it is probably going to sort of like outstrip the 8200 ai to shreds because the time you sort of like spent scanning that film will pay for itself in the long run and unlike and unless you're like me who shoots with medium format more and you already have a flat body scanner which you use most of the time in my case i don't want to shred another money out of my bank account to purchase a new film scanner and there is that option of selling the 8200 ai for the 8300 SC, but right now I'm satisfied with the 8200 AI as it is right now. And it, even if I purchase the 8300 SC, it's going to take me forever to get it set up, you know, and, and have it running. And also, I don't want to open a new package and stuff like that, unfortunately, because when you purchase new products, you have to open the package, you have to get set it up, you have to like connect, you have to add the cables and stuff like that. I don't want to do the hassle from zero to start again. It's just time consuming, unfortunately, and because I don't shoot that much with 35 mil, I think I'm happy with 8200 AI. So that's sort of my answer. But if you're starting out, the 8300 SE is going to be the worthy, I guess, purchase if it's your like first like film scanner. So and obviously, the 8300 AI only makes sense if you're a if you're a sort of like a reversal i keep seeing reversal film because japanese people call it reversal but slide films if you're a slide film user the 8300 ai is the better bet because if i'm right if, look i was looking at their website they kind of improved the calibration tool the calibration slide within 
the sort of like the system and get more much more accurate results on slide films compared to the 8200 series so if you just shoot slide 35 mil 8300 ai might be the better choice than the 8200 ai but unfortunately like i said i never used the 8300 series so i can't vouch on that and also the speed but if they say it's like 39 percent or 38 percent faster i'm guessing it's going to be like roughly 30 percent faster at most and for some people that's great news because 35 mil takes forever because it's like 36 exposures and if you can cut down on cost i mean you can do something else worthwhile something productive in the time that you shaved off so, so yeah that's basically it on um, my sort of like coverage of the 8300 ai or in the 8300 se that plus tech secretly revealed to the public and yeah it's kind of, I'm, I'm kind of curious if you guys are interested in these kinds of like photo news types of stuff. This is actually my first time talking about a product that I don't own <laughs> one generation in the future actually. So <laughs> if you have any questions or if you have any like comments, please leave it in the area below. Happy to reply and yeah, I'm kind of curious of how much the older film scanners are going to get reduced in price because we all know there's going to be a sale coming soon, probably on the 8200 series. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will see you next time. Peace out.